Hi folks, this is Sean Broderick from Nevada again, Elko, Nevada, which is uh, really kind of an exploration hub. Let me tell you, I've been in some ghost towns in Nevada, Elko is not one of them. It is a boom town. There's all sorts of stuff going on. There's like uh, natural gas, there's gold, there's silver, and there's lithium. And uh, so right now I'm speaking to Alan Morris. He's a consultant geologist for Nevada Energy Metals. He's looking at their projects and trying to actually crack the code was kind of what I was getting from the lake you were speaking about, because it's all this complex geology, and you have to go down and you have to figure out how that works. Could you please speak to my subscribers about what you're doing? Uh, basically, we're trying to map the underground uh, or this subsurface geology of these basins. Mm -hmm. the, the basins are flat playas. They're boring. It's a, imagine the, uh, the salt flats where the racers work on over by Wendover. Mm -hmm. And that's basically what we're working on. But underneath them is very, very complex. It's like you uh, folded a rug up, piled a bunch of crap on top of it, and then filled it in with, uh, with dust over the top of it. So it's the geology, subsurface geology on these things is actually more complex than people think. And also the geology of the lithium itself appears to be more complex than simply a big bathtub that you, you suck the brines out of. Mm -hmm. Now, there's a... There are like different ways you can actually approach this. One would be brine, one would be clay. It all depends on what you guys find, right? And so that'll kind of dictate what you actually do there, isn't that right? Absolutely. We're we're open-minded about this thing. We're we're devout pragmatists when it comes to our exploration. Uh, if we find uh, more of a clay-type system, then great. We're off to the races. Uh, we can make that work. If we discover that we are truly in a brine situation, that's uh, perhaps better because it's a a lot easier to just simply, uh, basically, it's an oil field at that point. You have very specific horizons that are your productive horizons. You have horizons that are non-productive. You have horizons that will steal your, your fluids as well. So you do have to be careful with that. But it's uh, fairly, from a, from a drilling and production standpoint, it's not that difficult. It's, mm -hmm. it's definitely water wells uh, type drilling. No big deal. It's, it's it's done a thousand times a day across the U.S. But we're looking for the, the trick's going to be a is lithium there and concentrated like we we think it will, and like like it has in other places in South America and also at the at Clayton Valley, the only existing lithium brine deposit in the United States. So we're that's what we're chasing. We're chasing uh, these types of settings, very similar to Clayton, very similar to the Bolivian deposits, and we'll see what we've got. We're at a very early stage right now, fully admit that. Uh, we have a lot of work to do to prioritize our deposits, uh, our, our targets, not deposits. You know, slip mm -hmm. of the tongue, kind of, mm -hmm. kind of wish their deposits. Mm -hmm. we, that's what we hope to find, obviously. Uh, prioritize our drilling, prioritize our, our other work. And as we go along, we'll, we'll probably wind up killing some and, and raising some others. That's the nature of exploration. Now, from what we were speaking about before, you have other information. You know there's lithium there. You just don't know if it's an economical amount, right? So, so you have to do a lot more work to actually find that out. Exactly. Our first, our first pass has been uh, to identify the basins and areas where we may find the lithium or where, where it's permissive. And then we have gone in and uh, acquired some property positions, and then we've gone in and done a fairly simple surface soil type uh, sampling, uh, some rock chip sampling, some water sampling from the, from the springs, and have proven up that yes, indeed, we do have lithium coming into the system, and a evaporative concentration model, uh, ha will, it, will it concentrate? We hope it does. We, we have the earmarks uh, of of these deposits. The USGS published a few years ago a kind of a general broad brush model of lithium brines. They have seven favorable points and most of our properties have all seven points Excellent. that are available. So we're, we're pretty hopeful. Um, my thinking is as they, we start to look for these types of deposits we'll find they are more plentiful than they originally were thought because Right now we have one producing deposit in the state, but in uh, 1965 or so there was one Carlin type system in there. 
in the state of Nevada. Ah, as well. You're speaking about gold now, which is near and it's dear to correct. my heart. And uh, I've been driving around Nevada looking at these huge trends with all these deposits that have only recently been found. Nevada is elephant country in, in that there are large deposits of um, different natural resources that just haven't been discovered yet. So I think what Alan and his team will be doing is looking for those big deposits, right? Obviously. I mean, we're we at very, very early stage in the exploration of these things. We are a very early stage in the understanding of the geology of these deposits. Uh, they are not a slam dunk, like I said. Uh, and we have, unfortunately, right now, we only have one example in the U.S. of, of what these things look like. So we know they're going to be different. Each valley has got a different history. It's got a different geology. It's going to be, it's going to be different. But just like the Carlin-type systems, they, they have a lot of things in common, and then each individual deposit will have its own unique characteristics. Mm. Okay. Well, um, good luck in your um, big treasure hunt. Um, thanks very much for speaking to my subscribers, and uh, you folks stay tuned because I'll have more for you. Uh, there's some very interesting stuff going on with lithium in Nevada, and uh, we just can't wait to find out what comes next. Thanks.